So Jim's here today to talk about the top five retirement roadblocks. Good stuff, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So what I thought we'd do today is just talk about some of those hurdles that are impeding folks from getting to retirement and through retirement. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with taxes. Mm -hmm. And we just came through the tax season, as you, as you see here. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun. I, I know for many folks, it was painful. And uh, here's a couple of ways that we can make it a little less painful. A lot of guys and girls that I speak with, folks have 1099 income. They mm -hmm. have self-employment income. And many folks have filed an extension. Those individuals can put money in a SEP IRA, for instance, mm -hmm. in a self-employed uh, retirement plan. Yep. Uh, all the way through the tax filing deadline, the extension goes all the way through October 15th. So there's a way to move the needle for last year. Now, going forward, uh, we happen to have at Greenwich Bay Wealth Management a lot of clients that have uh, charitable inclinations. So they give, they donate. Uh, the best way to do that, most tax efficient way to do that, and the reason I'm talking about it today is not, not a lot of people know about this, mm -hmm. is you can donate right from your IRA. If you're taking required minimum distributions, which is your RMDs, yep. so if you're 70 plus, you have an IRA, you're taking a distribution, you can take that money, send it directly to the charity of choice. Yeah. No taxes. So you don't pay the taxes. The charity gets the full amount Perfect. of the donation. Thank I you. can't talk enough about Roth IRAs and Roth IRA conversions. If we're talking about tax savings and we're talking about future retirement income, yeah. there's not enough retirement income tax-free for folks today. So security- Agreed is taxable yep. and it's taxable for many at the state level uh, here in Rhode Island. Um, all your retirement plans, 401ks, SEP IRAs, IRAs, those are all taxable. Many ways they can be tax time bombs. You don't own 100% of that IRA. You own maybe 70%. True. Uncle yeah. Sam, you own the other 30. I don't find people doing enough Roth IRA con contribution. Now, again, it is based on your income. Oh, yeah. But Roth conversions, Roth IRA conversions, taking a traditional IRA, moving it to a Roth IRA, paying the taxes in the year you convert, and then growing that money tax-free has no uh, income uh, contribution limits. Also wanted to talk about uh, Social Security. This can be a retirement roadblock because people don't understand the importance of a right choice of benefits. For instance, there are 567 different claiming it's strategies. Insane. So people don't understand the complexity. And, and, and I, as I like to say, a lot of times these very important decisions, the average social security benefit is around $500,000. Yep. Those decisions are being made in the Waffle House. They're making these uh, rash decisions and it's a $500,000 decision. I uh, will implore you, please do a social security claiming analysis report uh, at Greenwich Bay Wealth Management. We can stack up different years. Yeah. And especially if you have uh, a spouse. Yeah. It's a really important uh, claiming analysis uh, report. I can't have a, 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 a conversation with a client talking, bringing up interest rates and, social, uh, and inflation. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Inflation. The I word has reared its ugly head. Uh, the consumer price, the last print we had, uh, was 8.5%. So year over year, consumer prices have increased 8.5%. Not including food, not including fuel. In some ways, the government does. Uh, of course, if you, they do exclude food and energy, yeah. right, in some of these measures. So a basket of goods and services is costing us a heck of a lot more. This is the largest increase we've seen since 1981. Oh. So we need to combat inflation. And I think you need to get better rates of return. Of course, the average savings rate coming into 2022 was 0.06%. Now, when you have inflation at 8.5%, folks settling for that 0.06, it makes sense to, to get a better return to try to stave off the cost of inflation. So inflation is a major risk. The other thing is, think about the, the federal deficit. It, it's at all time highs. The problem with having higher interest rates is a higher service on the, on the national debt. Yep. So it's in the Fed's best interest to moderate interest rates. So they certainly want to stave off inflation, but they don't want higher interest rates. It only means that the service of the debt 
at $30 trillion becomes more onerous for the yeah. federal government.